what exists in the vast expanse above our heads. Space is not a rare topic around here, and for good reason. New, fascinating discoveries are being made nearly every day, and each time we discover a new piece of the universal puzzle, we are just one step closer to understanding the whole picture. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be learning about just three new space discoveries that will surely bring stars to your eyes. So, whether you're an amateur astrophysicist or an expert engineer, buckle in and prepare for liftoff as we explore three recent space discoveries. Aliens could be sucking energy from black holes. One way that we might be able to spot distant extraterrestrials is from their ability to harness the power of black holes, scientists have said in a recent report. The potential that distant alien civilizations could be sucking up the energy from black holes could also mean that we would be able to spot it from millions of miles away. The idea is that a kind of technology that harvests the energy of a black hole could leave traces behind. The evidence of such a technology would exist close by to the black hole's event horizon, which is the threshold at which no matter, not even light, can escape. Some have posited that this scenario could explain examples of plasma flares observed in the past, which have been seen to occur nearby black holes. In fact, a new study published in the journal this year has suggested just that. At the moment, this is all conceptual, but the hope is that eventually we may one day be able to harness such a technology ourselves. Such a possibility could give us a near-endless supply of energy, even if the nearest black hole is over 1,000 light-years away. In a closer time scale, astrophysicists are hopeful that a distant, advanced civilization might use similar energy-capturing methods. Luca Camiso, an astrophysicist from Columbia University, as well as co-author of the recent study, said that the most important stage now is to determine what this sort of energy extraction might look like from great distances, such as from Earth. In a statement to Live Science, Camiso said that it's this exact line of questioning that could help us find far away alien civilizations. We have only done the physics in this paper, he said, but I am now working with a colleague of mine to apply this to reality, to look for civilizations, to try to see what kind of signal you would need to look for. Mysterious kick just after the Big Bang may have created dark matter. The Big Bang is a mysterious and mind-boggling thing to comprehend. It was the instant that all matter in the universe was created and has understandably been the focus of much research. The same sort of interest lies with dark matter too. The mysterious substance that is ever-present but is totally ignorant of light. And it turns out the two areas might be more connected than we think. In the universe, there is both matter and antimatter in equal quantities. When they come into contact, they cancel each other out and are destroyed. And yet, when all the matter and antimatter in the universe were first created, they should have instantly annihilated themselves. But, since we are here, that clearly didn't happen. New research suggests that in the very early universe, there was some sort of trigger, some sort of kick that produced a surplus of matter. This answers the question of why there is a greater amount of matter compared to antimatter today. Subsequently, it could be because of this kick that dark matter came into existence. The biggest issue with dark matter is, well, we do not really know what exactly it is. We know that it exists, and we know that it takes up about 80% of all matter in the universe. That means with everything we can observe from Earth, all the galaxies, stars, planets and moons, it is all just a fraction of how much dark matter is out there. But the perplexing thing is that although dark matter takes up much of the universe, it does not seem to have much of an effect on it. As reported in Live Science, when one process dominates an interaction, it really takes over. Unless other physics comes into play, rarely do two competing forces come out in balance. This can be shown in the process of when stars collapse. Gravity and electromagnetism are in competition inside of the star until gravity eventually dominates and the star collapses and becomes a black hole. 
The paper is just the tip of the iceberg in our understanding of dark matter, but it does lead us down a potential path for discovering the truth. NASA finds lost galaxy in the Virgo cluster. It might sound strange that a galaxy could go missing. After all, they are pretty big. In astronomical terms, it is a bit more understandable that your favorite pair of socks go missing in the dryer than a giant celestial body going AWOL. But a galaxy was in fact lost until a recent discovery found it. The story begins back in the 1950s when an amateur astronomer named Leland S. Copeland pointed his telescope towards a faraway galaxy in what's known as the Virgo constellation. It was there that Copeland saw a strange spiral shape built up of dust. Being a poet by trade, Copeland named the discovery the Lost Galaxy. The thing is, the galaxy was never lost. What Copeland was seeing was huge plumes of gas being illuminated by stars. Unfortunately for the poet-cum-astronomer, technology during his lifetime was simply unable to process the galaxy in accurate detail. The result was a blurry haze, thus making the galaxy look lost in the lack of resolution. The missing galaxy's official name is NGC 4535, and it is one of the largest of the 2,000 or so galaxies in the Virgo cluster, which sits around 50 million light-years from Earth. Now, using modern technology, we are able to view the once hazy galaxy in full detail. And what our modern methods show is that the galaxy is not lost at all, but made of countless glistening stars. NASA's Hubble telescope has captured impressive photos of the galaxy, which shows many similarities to our own Milky Way. The lost galaxy is what is known as a barred spiral, which is the same kind as our own Milky Way. These types of galaxies are made of huge swirls of stars with a bar structure in the center. Interestingly, the colors seen on the images of the lost galaxy can tell us a lot about its background. For example, in the yellow hues seen at the galaxy's center, we can see that the region is home to the galaxy's oldest and coldest stars. Conversely, the areas with bluer colors are where hotter and younger stars reside, helping to illuminate the galaxy's famous haze. Recent technology demonstrates that we have a much easier time at spotting the lost galaxy compared to Copeland, so much so that the galaxy is being studied specifically to help our understanding of spiral galaxies. On January 11, 2022, NASA officially released images of the lost galaxy as part of an ongoing research effort that is focused on spiral galaxies that are relatively nearby. The survey, officially known as the Physics at High Angular Resolution in Nearby Galaxy, or FANGS survey, boasts many stunning photographs of these distant and once lost celestial objects. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.